Hey guys, we're back in our old stomping grounds, back up here uh, where we used to live for Thanksgiving. And we are at Tammy's right now, my sister-in-law Tammy's, if you remember her from several videos we did last year. Um, Thanksgiving, a big thing we have for Thanksgiving here in the United States, at least we do, is sweet potatoes. And if you remember way back in the spring, Noah and I started some sweet potato slips. And unfortunately, they were doing really well, but when we moved, we had to leave them behind. Um, they were starting to produce, but Tammy actually started her sweet potato slips the same time I did, and hers have gone crazy. So since we're here, I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to talk about and to actually do some harvesting of sweet potatoes. All right, so I can't believe how much these have taken over. They're insane. The weeds. It's just, it's out of control. It you know, control. life takes over and you plant something and you forget about it. And then it was time for Thanksgiving and I realized I have to go buy yams. Nothing's worse than having to go buy yams when you've had this for months with well, yuckiness. Well, you, you didn't know how to harvest it. No. So I'll give you that. And there's a lot of weeds, but honestly, how could you even get into weed it? You can't. You can't. Couldn't even mow the lawn around it. So it, look at it. it. even, they are so insane underneath there that it actually even took over... Uh, yeah, maybe we can harvest them in time for Christmas. for Christmas. So yeah, so you can eat sweet potatoes fresh right out of the garden. However, it is best to let them sit for two to three weeks and that kind of con condenses the sugars, mm -hmm. concentrates the sugars so they taste better and have that creamy, sugary flavor. Yum. Let's go get some shovels. All right, shoveling. That doesn't quite look like the ones I eat from the organic grocery store. Oh my gosh. my gosh, he's taking on a life. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, no. No, a snail. Look at that. That's a good Sliced one. in half with butter. That's a good one. This is insane. It looks like a colon. It does look like a colon. <laughs> so, you see it's green? Yeah. So on a regular potato, a green potato, you don't want to eat. It's poisonous. Mm -hmm. But sweet potatoes aren't related to regular potatoes. They're actually related to morning glories and the green color. It probably won't affect the flavor or anything, but it's certainly not poisonous. So let's keep digging. That's the part that was like above the soil. Yep. It's just oxidation. The weeds are insane. But what I'm learning is, is that the more overgrown and ugly it is on the top, the prettier it is on the inside. Look at these. They're huge. Look. I see the biggest one. We've got all different sizes. It's insane. This is going to be a monster. I wonder if I can pull it up. Mm, no. Oh, oh, look at that. Oh my gosh. Did you get that? That's yeah. crazy. Yeah, I saw that. I saw oh, that's that been thing. Eaten on my snails. Look. Right. Slugs. Look at this. Look at this. Look at that. That is, okay, maybe not grocery store shelf pretty, but. But that's. A winner, winner, chicken. A winner, winner, chicken dinner, isn't it? Yeah. Winner, winner, yummy dinner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Winner, Look. chicken dinner. Once you get that big root mound, then they're all loose right under there. It's like, you know, 15 per bunch of roots. You'll know it's time to harvest your sweet potatoes when the vines start to turn yellow or just before frost. If you don't get frost, then when the vines start to turn yellow. If you live in a mild climate like we do, the vines might just continue growing. At that point, you're going to see the sweet potatoes sticking out of the ground, ready to harvest. They're going to look like sweet potatoes, big, fat, plump. And uh, at that point, in a mild climate, you'll know it's time to harvest. All right, so I'm going to advertise my... I do not weigh that much. Well, it was just Thanksgiving. That's true. 180, okay. <laughs> What does it say now? Two ten. Ten. So Two thirty. Seventy pounds. If Tammy comes back, we can tell her. Hey, take a guess at how many pounds? Twenty. Thirty. Forty. Mm. Ah! <laughs> That's the first time I've been to the gym in a while. Uh, 55 pounds. Oh. More? 
gonna be eating yams for the rest of my life. Uh, 65 pounds. Uh, 75 pounds? Yeah. 70 pounds. 70 pounds of yams? I'll take the weeds because underneath all that yuck was all this yum. If we put them in a nice dark place, right? They can dark get their, cool. sh their sugars going. Yep. Sugars going. Cool dark place. <laughs> and they'll last for several months. Did you see some of these crazies? Yeah, pick up some of the big Get ones. Get that big crazy One. guy. These are hugging each other. Aww. Aww. It's crazy. This is my first year doing it. I did the little little potatoes last year and the kids just loved that. But, you know, I've got lots of recipes for these, even just nuking them and eating them with some butter. They're, they're the best. Yeah, so. I can't wait to actually grow and harvest my own next year because that was fun. It was. I was shocked at how much was underneath there. Yeah, I wasn't prepared to get the stir. N neither. Neither was I. Send in all your yammy yam uh, recipes so I know what to do with them for Christmas. Definitely do. All right. Well, from Tammy's house, see you next time. Bye.